Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tango Kilo Sierra. We're on our way out to Subastra right now, our little campground that we know about, that uh, been working on and stuff. Still been frequently going out there every once in a while. And uh, today, we're gonna throw up the tent, we're gonna cook us something delicious, in freaking, you know, Tango Kilo Sierra form. And uh, yeah, we're really gonna get into this. Thank you everyone for sticking around. I appreciate it. The freaking love I got on that last video, the Gettysburg video, was awesome. If you haven't seen it yet, go and uh, give it a little bit watch. It, it really is worth it. It's a wonderful place. Had a great time. And, uh, well, today wasn't supposed to rain. Looks like we got us some overcast, though. So, uh, definitely going to look out for that. And uh, just try to keep dry and cool. Ain't nothing worse than a little pop-up freaking storm here in South Carolina to make it feel like absolute hell out here, to be honest about it. But as you can see, it's not looking too good out that direction. We'll probably get us a stray storm here, which is going to be cool. So I'm just going to hunker down in my hole that uh, I have out there that y'all have seen in the previous videos and uh, you know, just really get this done. But uh, yeah. Thanks for sticking around everyone. Stay tuned for some delicious food. I've got it uh I've got it coming. It's gonna be great. Something delicious in the summer, easy. And uh yeah, I'll see y'all guys at the campground. And if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe and uh share me with your friends. If you haven't done it already, just know it's uh what keeps us going and uh we greatly appreciate it. for not having a straight shower this afternoon. Still gonna get out here and get it done, guys. Stick around. Get back here. It's raining pretty hard. Get down here in the hole. Looks pretty dry. Right here goes. We're down here. Had to drop the GoPro. Thank God it's waterproof. Looks like our hole's sticking pretty good though. Which is good news. Except for a little drainage issue here. But uh yeah, we'll fix that. At least I'm out of the rain. Got a little bit drenched there. But uh nevertheless, got out here. We're gonna wait this out guys. See y'all back here in just a bit. Right, ladies and gentlemen been down in our hole here for about the past 10 minutes it's finally letting up as you can hear as far as tarps go this old tarp right here is over a year old I got it from um, Walmart for about $30 and it has stood the test of time this hole is completely dry not too bad might have to sleep down here tonight. It all depends on how bad the bugs get when it quits raining. But, uh, yeah. Got a couple new things to test out today and uh, some delicious food to cook. And we'll go out here and show you the aftermath of what the cabin area looks like after a good rain. It's not too bad. Some puddles here and there, you know. Got a... Uh, one of our friends, Dale, who's been out here digging this beauty. Pretty nice little hole here. Well, it's pretty big. We made him a little uh, freaking stationary hut there. Pretty dang cool. So what's out here in the ground in gas in South Carolina. It's like one of the last places that the ocean receded in this state. So uh, it's just scale of this thing is incredible good job Dale all right once it quits raining we're gonna get to the next couple of bits of our show here so uh, like I said be sure to stick around thank you guys 
also for sticking with me through the two week hiatus two week <laughs> two month hiatus i freaking been going through it it's just hard to get out here in this heat after uh after working in it all day but we're gonna do it anyways and uh we're gonna have a good time doing it so uh, stick around everyone and thank you had some foliage fall it's gonna get turned into firewood even though it just got doused over the past couple of months of us not being out here we gotta get that cleaned up if you go back and back and look at the uh, videos I made out here in the winter the greenage out here is you know just really nice these woods turn into life easily Good old subaster there. Alright. So there goes our little pit that I dug. What we're cooking tonight has to do with this piece of chicken wire that I have made into a circle. If we can get it to fit in here cor correctly. And this little grate here. We'll see how it works. Hopefully it rocks. Hopefully you all like it. Like I said, rain just enough to make it extremely hot out here as you can see by the perspiration on my forehead and face. Thanks a lot, South Carolina. That's what makes this place home, I guess, though. But, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all guys here in just a bit. All right, so pretty humid, pretty warm. I think it's in like the low 90s right now here in South Carolina, which ain't the worst, ain't the best though. It's definitely been worse. You've seen that in one of the videos I put out last year. I think that was like in the middle of August. It was like real Phil 117 outside, which is insane. Right now, I'd say it's real Phil probably about 98 or somewhere in there, you know. Got the shirt up on the natural clothesline because it's soaked. And, uh, yeah, we're just out here hanging out. They got it hydrated because uh, I would have been in a world of hurt if I wouldn't have done that. We got the path cleaned up a little bit from the six months that it's been overgrowing. I still got some foliage and stuff to knock out the way. But, uh, yeah, doing good. Now we just got to find some dry firewood, which is going to be the main pain in the old anus. Got the tree out in the middle of the uh, path there, as you've seen when I was running in. It's a heavy sucker. I'm going to work on it little by little, though. I want to give myself a hernia or nothing. Um, what to look forward to? probably gonna say this again in the morning but uh just want to iterate it now i've got a lot of uh i've got a lot of um other cams coming up that are gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna get on some roofs and uh camp them out without some people knowing hopefully we don't get caught and we'll be out here a couple times too out here sub astro just enjoying the summer my birthday is in three weeks I figure out what I'm gonna do for that video. Might just go out on the lake for the day and just videotape the good time. I don't know. I want to do a camp like I did last year, but I don't think anybody's into it. Last year was pretty brutal. We uh we had a time last year out there at the swamp. If you ain't seen that, go back and look at that too. But um, thank you guys for sticking by. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out and you know. Enjoy the day. One last thing before we jump to our cooking segment or uh, getting the fire started here when the sun goes down. It's about six o'clock. So, uh, 
you know it's still got about two hours before it starts to cool off a little bit but uh like take this chance to have a good old cheers with my subscribers thank you guys so much you don't understand like how much i enjoy doing this and <clears throat> how much your contributions likes comments subscribes sharing me with your friends just absolutely helps me out and makes me want to do this even more gets me through these hot days where you know you gotta drink a liter of water before you get out here the day before or uh you're gonna have to go home or stroke out one of the two and we're definitely not gonna do that but uh this is for you guys thank y'all so much and if you haven't liked and subscribed yet please consider doing so if you don't know this channel i do all kinds of crazy cool stuff so uh thank you in advance and i love you all Tink. This is for you guys. All right. Stand by. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take some time to commemorate a subscriber that sent me a box recently. What you sent me was so awesome. It was personal. It was helpful and everything like that. So uh, I want to show you one of the first things that I am using from that uh, kit that you sent, Jolt Freak. I got this thermocell with that $25 gift card that you sent me. I really appreciate it, man. You know, freaking, your support means the world. And uh, for anybody else out there so just got some extra camera gear laying around, the uh, my PO box is in the description of this video below. And, uh, you know, just anything that you freaking just got laying around that you don't use anymore. I could use especially cold water, cold water, cold weather um, uh, gear. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. And um, my PayPal and freaking, um, I'm pretty sure my cash app is coming out here soon too. It's in the, the description of the video below. Anything you can give is awesome. Even if it's just a like and subscribe. But Joel Freak, appreciate your donation, buddy. I do it for people like you. Alright, so tonight we have a guest camper who, uh, that's Dell, the one I What's told up? you about at the beginning of the video that uh, dug the hole. We're gonna have them camping out here with us, and, uh, you know, it's always better to do something with a buddy, you know what I'm saying, than uh, by yourself, which I would do by myself, but, uh, it's always good to have company and you guys know that especially when it gets hot outside and all that crazy stuff it's always safer too oh yeah and it's gonna have give us an extra freaking voice when it comes down to the awesome food we're gonna cook later got the marine corps flag up and you know that means that we're home and you know anybody's welcome to come camp one day i'd love to turn this into a uh, somewhere where i could bring you guys and you know just enjoy this but the skies are clear except for a couple of little freaking would you call it maybe cumulus clouds or some kind of shit like that but you know that's neither here nor there we're gonna collect some firewood i'm gonna hand the camera off to dill so today as you saw when i come running in here this uh tree was falling in the middle of this here as it quits as it's quit raining this right here is really good tender and it's everywhere so we're gonna pull this together we're gonna get, freaking dry it out. We're gonna light it on fire and we're gonna get a good fire going for you guys. So stick around for fire and food. Thank you guys for sticking by. That right there is the best tender money can buy. Stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna dump this out. Already a lot on the ground. Let's go ahead and dump it. Dump it downhill from where you're gonna camp. So the mud doesn't come back on you you can see where it rained before today we're gonna use this to uh it's already got a lot of mud in it but yeah we're gonna shovel that out yeah we're gonna use this to collect some firewood and then we're gonna get a fire started and then cook some food blowing the fire All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our freaking, our uh, little ring there, our little ring light that awesome girlfriend gave us months and months ago. Thank God for her. 
almost nine months. What I'm doing tonight is I'm using a little bit of match light charcoal. Because I had it left over at my house from uh, getting my cousin got me a uh, charcoal grill or charcoal, uh, a gas grill for my birthday. And uh, figured might as well use our resources. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our food. After we get this lit up, let's throw it down in there. After we get this bag lit up, and we're going to take our food and we're going to cook it over this. Got a little bit of chicken wire here and a grate from Awesome Uncle. He gave us that for uh, Christmas there. And what we're cooking tonight is a little bit of some shrimp tacos with two, with two cheese. Mexican cheese or Mexican or uh, taco blend at least and uh, we're gonna do that we're gonna make some freaking shrimp tacos and hopefully it turn out wonderful which they will because they always do so let's get this fired up once we get this fired up we'll get our food prepped I'll get me a little chair over here so I can prep the food, which ain't gonna be much because we're just detailing a little bit of uh, shrimp. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens once our coals get ready to go. Knock the sand off of this thing. I think it's gonna, gonna be just enough to heat what we gotta heat up. That's the match light coals. Don't get no better than that, you know. Match light's real easy to use and uh, very flammable. This is kind of old and it's got moisture on it because it's been in my truck for the past couple of hours. Let's hope that we can get it started with a little bit of this paper here. So we're getting a little uh, moisture in our coals that we're going to use to uh, cook this food. So trying to figure out a way to transport some of this over there. That match light was old and it uh, didn't want to get started for us. So we're going to reassess and we're going to figure something out. It's the only thing you can do at this point. Thinking we're gonna get this cardboard going, maybe. Can't keep none of this fat lighter lit long enough to uh, make it over there, so let's we'll see what we can do. Worst come to worst, we'll cook it over this fire or, uh, you know, pull some of that fire over here.
small pieces. Dry cardboard. What's going, what's crazy is I can smell the lighter fluid on the freaking match light. It's totally wigging me out. minimal light because uh, we're close to the new moon we couldn't get our pit started but we had our good friend Joe bring us out the chimney and uh, that should get our fire started just good for our freaking shrimp tacos and uh, yeah, I can feel kind of feel the heat coming off of that so you know, just rock. and then uh, we'll get cooking for you just stand by and we'll see y'all guys in just a minute. Cheers. All right, so we're gonna take our flaming coals here and we'll dip them down our hole. And those are gonna get our grate nice and hot. Make sure we put that back where it goes. Nice and hot. Right, right over our hole there. All right, then I'm gonna put this in here. I didn't get anything like butter or oil or anything, so. We're gonna have to uh, do this on the fly. What we got here is some shrimp. I ain't gonna use that. Just your basic little shrimp from freaking uh, Food Lion or your local store. We're gonna use some complete seasoning to uh, complete the meal. And we got our two cheese Mexican style cheese blend. Plus, we're going to be cooking our tortillas over the fire also. So, take the tail off, going on in the pot. Tail off, going on in the pot. Just gonna keep doing that with every single little shrimp till we have enough for me and Dell, our guest, to, uh, who's also working the camera right now and doing a great job, to uh, have a good little uh, shrimp I was thinking maybe two or three shrimp tacos a piece at the most or at the least I mean maybe more than that because this is a lot of shrimp oh dang well that one's for the cats still a little frozen from the store, that's okay. It'll still work just fine. Keep taking the tails off of them. Well, that one touched the ground. That one's for the cats. Oh, just threw the shrimp instead of the tail because I'm a goofus. All right, so. We got these on the cooker here. Got a 
nice and hot. It's going to probably take it just a little while. And then, uh, yeah. So, we'll see y'all guys back here. Wait, let's hit it. Can't, can't forget the complete seasoning here. We'll pull the top off of that. Kind of mucked up the seal on that. That's okay. You hit it with that seasoning. Get it nice and coated on one side. And then and get it moved around. Hopefully this ground holds a good enough heat to at least heat this up. She's already cooked shrimp, so we ain't really gotta worry about it too much. But uh I would like to at least heat them up and Seems like our coals are doing their job, so we'll just have to leave it here and let it come up to temperature on its own. So uh, stick around and we'll show you the finishing product. Thanks for sticking by everyone. All right, so it's hard to see me, I know, new moon and all. A good way to roast or however you say your tortillas is to put it under your pan while it's cooking had these under here for about a minute on one side it's okay it's okay to get in the dirt like it happens if you're out here primitive camping you ain't gonna care whether it's got dirt on it or not you put it under your pan because your pan is hot it's gonna help cook those evenly so uh stick by and we'll see you back here in just a sec two one see how crispy this is getting and put it down here in the little bit of uh, water. I'm gonna flip our other ones. We'll probably get two a piece out of this, which is just enough to you know get some sleep. That one's already starting to get pretty, uh, see, pretty good to go. I think it's gonna have a wonderful taste to it. These are starting to get hot. I know I'm mixing them with my hand. That's because I was dumb and I forgot to uh, get something to mix them with, but starting to get warm. And as far as uh, campfire freaking, shrimp tacos, I think we're going to be having us a good night tonight, personally. Thank y'all for sticking around. We'll show you the finished product. Almost ready. Alright, so we got our cheese blend here. Put it down in the light so you can see it. I like the two cheese. I think the three cheese is a little overpowering. So, uh, ooh, shit, don't let it fall over and get freaking sand all in it. All right. Well, I think the best thing to do is just to put it right there. All right. So, they're starting to get nice and sauteed. I'm trying to give them a chance to cook a little more, but I think we're slowly losing our coals. So, warm is about as good as it gets at that point. So, I think we're going to go ahead and load them up. What you guys think? What do you think, Dale? Good idea? I'm hungry. I hear that. All right, so, I like to apply my cheese beforehand. This is a uh, little memento for melting and uh, getting it good to go. I'll be serving this bare-handed, which is a little grody, but my hands are clean, so I'm not really trying to fret. But put one, two, three, four on there. One, two, three. Three, four on this one. It's a little hot. Should leave them enough for our friend Dale. That right there, you usually get some shredded cheese with it, but uh, I ain't trying to freaking go too far with it. With the everything seasoning, let's see how it is. Cheers, everyone. Mm. That right there is amazing. Now, everything seasoning really brings it all together. 
Mm. That might outdo the steak and eggs. That's pretty damn good. Now, I'm gonna do this other one. Do I guess? Get the light right. Let's see how our guest feels about their taco. What kind of flavors are you experiencing right now, bud? Everything. Yeah. For being made in the hole in the woods? Yeah, over a little tiny pit in the woods. It's a pretty good taco. It's not bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank y'all for sticking around. We're going to finish this off. I just poured my beer because I'm a goofus. We're going to finish this off, get our last tacos, and uh, we'll see you guys at bedtime. Thank y'all for sticking around. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got our freaking food eaten. Got a little fire going, even though it don't really look like it. That's the fat lighter going under all that wood. It did rain today, so, you know, got to dry it out and keep it rolling. We're going to switch out our pad on our thermocell here. we got a couple on standby. We've got my setup, my Dallas blanket and pillow here. We're going to freaking Dell with their, uh, let me explain what you got there, old army cot. Old army cot, got for free, practically on the side of the road. That's and pretty then cool. This army sleeping bag that was donated to me. It's buttoned down. Place. That's dang near like Vietnam era. That's pretty cool. It looks like it'd be really warm. Which yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to test that out. We need tonight, but it, it's it's comfy to sleep on. Right. We're gonna have to test that out. But uh, yeah, people, just remember, keep the bug spray on, keep the thermocell running, and uh, we'll see y'all in the morning. Thanks for sticking by. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, that was a good sleep. It's about 6 o'clock. I'm going to get up and uh, start getting everything packed up into the trunk. Beat this traffic home and, you know, get a shower and get to work. Thank you for sticking around. See y'all at the finish line. As you can see behind me, very gloomy, foggy morning. Got the truck all loaded up here. All I gotta do is get the Marine Corps flag. You probably can't really see because it's still pretty dark. And then uh, don't let her touch the ground here. Fold it up nice. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, though you really can't see me, I'll get over here to the light from the truck. Right, here we go. It's a little bit better. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, um, like I said, great camp. Didn't quit sweating all night, so that wasn't fun. But, uh, you know, we got it done and uh, in fine Tango Kilo Sierra form and fashion. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned. Uh, be looking in the description for the P.O. Box and everything of that nature. If you got some extra gear, it would be much appreciated if you'd send it my way. Cold weather gear especially. But I'll take just about anything because uh, it helps. But uh, thank you guys again. And we'll find another great place like what's behind me. We'll see you next time.